In this video, let's take a look at one of the ways to record sound with a shotgun microphone when you're working as a solo camera operator. The trickiest part of being a solo camera operator is recording sound and recording it well. The first port of call for pretty much every camera operator I know is a wireless Lavalier microphone system. This is because they are convenient and you don't necessarily need a sound recorder with you if you can plug directly into your camera. I'm a big fan of Lavalier microphones and I use them for precisely that reason, but I much prefer a shotgun microphone. When I'm working without a sound recordist or an assistant, I mount my boom pole into a cradle. For about six months, I used a boom buddy, but I never found it strong enough to be able to hold the boom pole, and I always felt it was really cheaply made. The Niwa boom pole cradle has a 5 8 attachment, which needs to go into a grip head. The all metal construction means that it has absolutely no chance of bending. As it is holding up a boom pole, I do recommend putting it on a heavy duty light stand or a C stand. Any stand that is going to hold less than 5 kilograms is not going to be able to support your boom pole. The boom pole fits into the cradle and you can adjust depending on the length of where it needs to sit. There are no counterweights so you've really got to bear that in mind. Now I've only tested this with my own boom pole which is a Rode 2 meter boom pole, but the cradle can easily support the boom pole with a blimp. You'll need to make sure one of the legs of the stand is underneath the boom pole arm, and this is for maximum stability. And if you want a little bit of an extra peace of mind, adding a sandbag isn't a bad option. This is much sturdier and far better than a traditional mic stand or a boom buddy, as they generally don't have great weight capacity limits. Plus with a separate mic stand, it's just another stand you have to carry with you, as opposed to a lighting stand, which you're gonna have with you anyway. At least that's how I'm going to use it. Any questions then let me know in the comments below and if you're looking for a boom pole cradle then I really can't recommend this one enough. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.